हाय फ्रेंड्स आई होप यूर ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट लास्ट वाले पार्ट में हम लोगों ने देखा एवरेजेस और परसेंटेजेस के बारे में सो द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑन फाउंडेशन फॉर को वी हैव सीन एवरेजेस एंड परसेंटेजेस एंड द बेसिक्स व्हिच इज एसोसिएटेड नाउ इन दिस पार्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग टू वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट वन इज फ्रैक्शन टेबल एंड सेकेंड इज अप्रोक्सीमेशन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम CAT standpoint and not just CAT, other MBA entrance examinations also. Fraction table is really going to be very very important from quant standpoint, arithmetic, data interpretation and speed maths. And similarly, approximation is also going to come in handy in your CAT preparation. And after that also, once you get into the B school and post that as well. So let's begin and try and see how do we understand these topics. तो बहुत आराम से बहुत बेसिक तरीके से समझते हैं सबसे पहले फ्रैक्शंस इज इज समथिंग जिससे बहुत सारे लोग थोड़ा सा अनकंफर्टेबल uh, होते हैं स्पेशली पीपल हु लेफ्ट मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम तो फ्रैक्शंस को कैसे हम समझे एंड हाउ कैन वी यू नो रियली ऑपरेट एट एट अ सर्टन स्पीड एज फार एज फ्रैक्शन इज कंसर्न तो उसके बारे में बात करेंगे सबसे पहले आपको करना क्या है सबसे पहले यू नो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फ्रैक्शन सो लेट से वन बाई टू वन बाई थ्री वन बाई फोर वन बाई फाइव वन बाई सिक्स वन बाई सेवन गोइंग ऑन टिल लेट से वन बाई थर्टीन और वन बाई नाइनटीन जहां तक आप कर सकते हो फॉर बिगिनर्स आप वन बाई थर्टीन तक आपको करना क्या है दीज आर द फ्रैक्शंस 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 के करिस्पॉन्डिंग डेसिमल और परसेंटेजेस इज समथिंग दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड रिमेंबर सो वन बाई टू के करिस्पॉन्डिंग डेसिमल अपना पॉइंट फाइव और फिफ्टी परसेंट हो जाएगा सिमिलरली वन बाई थ्री आपका पॉइंट थ्री थ्री और ये आपका थर्टी थ्री परसेंट हो जाएगा वन बाई फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट हो जाएगा सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ गोइंग ऑन टिल वन बाई थर्टीन जो आपका जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन सेवन या सेवन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट अप्रोक्सीमेटली हो जाएगा राइट सो ये आपके डेसिमल और परसेंटेजेस हो गए तो सबसे पहला स्टेप टू ऑपरेट you know really really well or with a certain speed in fractions we have to remember this table which is basically fractions their decimal and their percentage okay so at least 1 by 13 and once you have you know gone up to a certain level then you can do up till 1 by 19 why up till 1 by 19 because these fractions are very very frequent in the calculations okay and you don't want to waste time on calculations so you want to remember a few things so that you have an advantage as far as cat and other mba entrance exams are concerned right it it really helped me personally if i tell you in my you know when i got 99.9 in qa i would say that these basics were very very important not just in helping me calculate but for my confidence also right so 1 by 2 1 by 3 now that's the first step once i know for example let's say 1 by 8 let's say 1 by 8 if you see here you know approximately 12.5% right now 1 by 8 is something that i remember then calculating anything which is sort of associated or related with 1 by 8 for example 3 by 8 will become very easy why because all i have to do is 3 into 1 by 8 is 12.5 so 3 into 12.5 is 37.5% so i can calculate these fractions very very quickly if i remember the fraction table similarly if i have to calculate let's say 5 by 8 that will become 5 into 1 by 8 1 by 8 in percentage is 12.5 so 5 into 12.5 will become 62.5 you can similarly calculate many fractions okay so once you understand the fraction table you can start playing with it you can give yourself these questions and try answering them yourself let me give you another example let us say that you know we have to calculate 7 upon 11 think about it before you have understood the fraction table what how will you go about you will divide it you have no other way but if you remember the fraction table you remember 1 by 11 right so 1 by 11 is let's say 9.1% so 7 Upon eleven will be seven into nine point one. This becomes sixty three point seven percent. So you can then start, you know, calculating these fractions mentally also. So you will not require pen and paper to do it. So that is where we want to reach. With some amount of practice, all of us can reach there. 
Okay. So remember these fractions and then start playing with it. Spend some two to five minutes every day. Give yourself some fractions and try solving it mentally. So that is how you will familiarize with fractions. Let me talk about, you know, uh, we've, we've talked about how to, you know, learn and use the fraction table. Let me tell you a few more important aspects regarding fractions, which will help you. Right. So let us understand one another important aspect, which is closely related with fraction and ratio comparison. OK, so one important tip for all of you to remember. If I have a fraction A by B, which is less than one, if I add something to the numerator and denominator, the value of the fraction increases. Let me give you an example. If I have a fraction three by four, which is less than one. If I add, let's say one to the numerator and denominator, that becomes three plus one, four plus one, which is equal to four by five. Now four by five is certainly greater than three by four. Why? Four by five is 0.8 and three by four is 0.75. So when you have a fraction, which is less than one, if you add the same number to the numerator and denominator, then the fraction increases. The vice versa is also true. If you subtract something from the numerator and denominator, the fraction will reduce. Let me give you an example. I had, let's say three by four. Now, if I subtract one from numerator and denominator both, that becomes two by three. The value is 0.67. You can see that this has reduced, right? I hope this is clear to you. On the opposite side, if you have a fraction which is greater than one, then the opposite you know, effect will take place. So if I add something to the numerator and denominator, in this case, the fraction will reduce. Example, so A plus N, B plus N will be less than A by B. Example, let's say five by four. Fraction is greater than one. I add plus one to the numerator denominator that becomes six by five. Five by four is 1.25 and six by five is 1.2. So you can see that the value reduces. So when the fraction is more than one, add same number to the numerator denominator, the value reduces when the, fa when the fraction is more than one. When the fraction is less than one, add something to the numerator and denominator, the value increases. I hope that you will remember this. This will come in handy in a lot of ratio comparison questions. So I hope some basics of fractions, fraction table, and ratio comparison is clear to all of you. Revise this, get better at it every day. You can watch this video and you can start today and you can spend some two to five minutes every day. You will see the difference in one month from now. Let's move forward and help understand one more important aspect, which is called approximation. Remember, you can't calculate everything. In day-to-day -day life also, once you get into the business studies and after that, you know, into your corporate, you will require approximation skills day in, day out. You will have to calculate things at, you know, uh, at, at a very brisk pace. So calculation in that case, approximation will become very, very important. And again, during approximation also, your understanding of fraction table is going to help you. So let us understand how. We have 2.15 here and 0.168 here, right? 2.15 into 0.168. How can I do this? An interesting way to go about approximation is to recall everything that you know and try and utilize that. So 2.15 and 0 0.168. 0 0.168 looks like to me close to one by six, right? So uh, let me try and see if I can do something about it. If you remember, 6 cube is 216, right? So this number, 2.15, is 6 cube upon 100, approximately, right? It's 6 cube is 216, not 215, but I've approximated that. 0.168 is approximately 1 by 6, right? Or if you want, I may want to write it as if I increase this number slightly, this becomes 2.16. And if I reduce this number slightly, this becomes 0.167. Now, this is 6 cube upon 100. And this is certainly 1 by 6. So if I you know, increase this by slightly positive, reduce this by slightly negative, then the answer should not vary much. 
also because we are doing this change in the last place the second place after decimal therefore the impact should be lesser now this becomes 6 square upon 100 which is 36 upon 100 which is 0.36 now understand this all of this you know we could do mentally also right because we know 6 cube we know 1 by 6 we know 6 cube because we remember cubes and we know 1 by 6 because we have studied fraction table right so this is something which is very very interesting let us see how do we you know approximate 280 upon 3.96 now 280 upon 3.96 3.96 is nothing but 4 minus 0 0.04 so this is becomes 280 upon 4 1 minus 0 0.01 so this becomes 70 upon 1 minus 0 0.01 whenever a situation like this presents to you okay then this can be written as 70 into 1 minus 0 0.01 raised to the power minus 1 right 1 minus 0 0.01 was in the denominator i have taken it in the numerator so therefore power will be minus 1 right so whenever we have something in the denominator if you take it in the numerator that becomes power minus 1 now, whenever this number is very, very small as compared to this number, like this number is 1% or less than 1% of this number, then very easily this will multiply here. That's a very interesting rule of approximation which you all can remember. So if this number is very, very small as compared to this number, this can come in and multiply here. So this becomes 70 into 1 plus 0 0.01. So this becomes 70 into 1.01. This becomes very, very easy. 70 into 1 is 70. 70 into 0 0.01 is 0 0.7. So then this becomes 70.7. I hope this is clear to you. So very, very interesting way of approximating this. I hope you will remember this part, which is the most interesting, the magical part of this question. Let's approximate this one. 0.33 upon 37. I have to do convert this in percentage. Now, Sometimes you have to do some multiplication, you know, some division, addition, etc. And that will come through practice. So once you start doing these things, you know, in questions, start with fraction table, start utilizing them, then you will, you know, get more ideas. If I multiply this number with 3 and 3, this becomes approximately, this becomes 1. And this becomes 1, 1, 1. Right? Now, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Think about it. Now I have to do it in percentage. So I have to multiply it with 100. So this becomes 100 upon 111. Right? Now, 1 upon 11 in percentage is 9.1. So 1 upon 111 into percentage will obviously, if I have, you know, another one here, will be approximately this divided by 10. So approximately 0.9. Another way to look at it is if I have, let's say, I, I you know, multiply and divide with 10. So this is 1000. This is 111. Nine times it is 999. So approximately this becomes 0.9. I hope this approximation is clear. So the more you practice, the more you will get better at it. And through this season, we'll keep practicing a few questions like this as well but i hope this is clear i hope you enjoyed this we have studied fraction table and approximation in this part i'll see you all again in the next part till then take care god bless you all